Hi fans, post game reaction right now here. Uh, we're backstage uh, in Sapporo, uh, new beginning Sapporo event. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. Let's start with that. Uh, the way Minoru Suzuki won that title away from Hiroshi Tanahashi, I said on the air, he tortured the belt off of him. Uh, the ace was stretchered out and things are not looking good, Don. No, they're not. Uh, I think his knee's torn up. I think he's badly injured. I think that I would not be surprised if there was a decision made at a corporate level to go there and to to make sure the ace yeah. had a potential to come back at some point. <laughs> I think another couple of minutes in that hold, and I believe we might have seen Tanahashi crippled, which is something that nobody here wants to see. On the Japanese broadcast, Togi Bakabe was with the announced team, and he did, took Red Shoes to task said that it was too long before the stoppage. I actually agree with that. Uh, I thought the stoppage should have been sooner. So the official decision is referee stoppage. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. It's Benoro Suzuki. They've got to do something about the refereeing here because I've got to say, Red Shoes is seen as the gold standard. And the last two shows I've been on, I've seen a lot of mistakes. And the one tonight that mm. McAvey mentioned could have been catastrophic to this company. Well, you weigh, and that takes money out of our pockets well, you too. Weigh, listen, you do weigh competitive balance with taking the ball away from the players. And you don't want a referee's decision, if at all possible, to be the end result of a championship match. So I see both sides. Or you don't want a referee's non-decision to be the end of right. the entire company. And that's, don't kill the golden goose is what I'm saying. And that's certainly where, you know, a, a lot of pressure on uh, Red Shoes and all the referees here in oh, Japan. But we've all that, got pressure. we could, we could, uh, you know, talk about this thing to death. We've got a new champion. We do. And he's the baddest man in all of professional wrestling. He's Minoru Suzuki. My question for you, Kevin Kelly, I'm going to ask, turn the tables, ask you the question. Right. Since you're losing your voice. Ha. Who the hell is going to beat Minoru Suzuki? I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody either. Uh, it's, I, I couldn't think of anybody that would want to step up and challenge him, let alone face him, let alone beat him. Now, people have beaten Minoru Suzuki before but not without paying a heavy physical price. So, whoever wants to step up and take on Minoru Suzuki, good luck. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I gotta get some throat blossoms. You know what my father spray. used to say about challenging people like that? What? Don't let fear stop you. Hey, uh, we'll see who it is. Um, but there will not be a challenger for Minoru Suzuki, at least one that we do not know of tomorrow, but there will be two titles at stake tomorrow because we are right back here in this very same venue. Uh, an earlier start time, three hours earlier than today. So for the folks in the East Coast of the U.S., it starts at 1 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast. It is 10 p.m. Uh, and anywhere around the world, do the math. I, I don't have it at the I top always of find mind. it confusing. I know. Channels I, are changing when you're doing the time I, zone thing. Well, anyway, yeah. I do mention it briefly because uh, tomorrow afternoon, we've got Kenny Omega defending the U.S. title against Switchblade Jay White. Uh, it was all systems go for the elite tonight, but until the end, after the result was rendered, that was where Switchblade struck. Switchblade is not making a lot of friends in this company. He joined Chaos, and he's already talking about taking a run at Okada. He wants to take a run at the god of professional wrestling, Kenny Omega, with apologies to Carl Gotch. What are you wincing for? I worry about Some lightning. Sort of Southern Bible Belter here. Listen, Kenny Omega is the best there is, and Switchblade Jay White is phenomenal, but I think it's a case of too much too soon, and I think that he has done something that is ill-advised, and that is pissing off the god of pro wrestling, motivating Kenny Omega to make an example of him, and maybe we're going to see a one-winged angel with a little extra salt on it. We might, and we will also see the greatest tag team in the world today, the Young Bucks, the seven-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, put those gold, gold belts on the line in a rematch from Wrestle Kingdom against Rapongi 3K. To me, Don, I think Rapongi 3K is going to have to come up with something new, or perhaps they already have something new that we didn't see tonight, because tonight they had no answers for the young We ones. talked about it earlier today in the football context when we're out walking around. Get all these guys, Dak Prescott, all these guys, the great, the mm. first year. And then the defensive coordinators figure it out, and all of a sudden, the old sophomore slump. That's what we're seeing with Rapongi 3K. They came out of the gate fast, no one knew what they were. Now they've all figured it out. Rocky Romero did a great job putting them together. Maybe needs to do a better job of changing things up, because tonight what I saw was a Young Bucks team who had the number 
of show and yo. We also saw statements made by Okada, by Naito, by uh, Sonata, and others. Well, we're right back tomorrow, and we'll be able to have more conversations. Naito spit on me. He did. He That's chased. actually assault. It's so enjoyable. But we've got to wrap this up. So I want everybody to check out the replay if you didn't see the event live. And then make sure you're with us if you can be live tomorrow, uh, right back here in the same building. This is the start of a huge series of matches. Uh, here tonight, tomorrow, Sapporo, then two shows from Corican, uh, the beginning of February, and then the new beginning tour wraps up on the 10th of February in Osaka. Make sure you're here for all the live. We can't get Don, everyone, so just make sure that you watch the shows that he is on, more importantly than anything Are you going to get some rest tonight? Because no. if you think for one second I'm doing one ounce more of work because your voice is shot, My voice that's will. not happening. My voice will be fine by tomorrow. You'll never we'll know. We'll get Terry to get a German Shepherd in here to replace you. Well, that could that's happen. Say. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it here for this post-game wrap-up. Here at Sapporo Night One, we've got a new Intercontinental Champion crown. His name, Minoru Suzuki. For Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. See you tomorrow, everybody. Get yourself checked. What? Doctor. The doctor. Doctor, call for the mirror again. Kagami! Kagami! Kagami. No? No. No, Kagami? No. Uh, no. Go on.